Hi everyone, it's Lee, and we're going to do a, um, a four compartment um, pour today, uh, or a paint divider, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I made this myself. Video number um, 36, I think, shows how to do that. Layer of paint on the canvas so that um, uh, the paint is able to flow on it. And I'm also going to try, um, and I made my mixture different. Uh, last night I had gotten so many cells from, let me just show you real quick. This is last night's pour. Um, the cell development is so much that you couldn't see the ripples, as opposed to my previous one, where you can see the uh, different layers um, like a ring pour. So today's in, um, paints, um, this is made out of the um, neon, yeah, neon green and blue from Artist Loft and the other four is uh, white, uh, Winsor & Newton titanium white, um, Art Minds, um, in Die Dream, um, and then Ultramarine Blue, and Candium Yellow uh, Medium Hue from Windsor Newton. And they all have uh, Liquitex um, uh, Gloss and Medium Mixtures. The ratio has, um, it's so hard to talk and do this at the same time, it's amazing. Um, th there is, like in the yellow, there is about a teaspoon of the color, and then there's the um, half Liquitec uh, medium and half Floetrol. So there's, I still had to put Floetrol in it, otherwise it was super thin. Um, none of this painting also has any metallic. Uh, the, the last one had berry in it, and uh, berry from Deco Art Americana Metallic Berry. And that berry, I think, works similarly to the, like the gold does, and just really sells up. So now I'm just going to pour this onto the edge real quick. Turntable a little bit closer, make sure. We can still see what's going on in time. It. This is the smallest compartment of the four, and I measured that with water, and then I took the water out and poured it into the next compartment, drew a line, so it means each color has the same amount. So I'm gonna start with the yellow on the outside. I'm interested to see how this is going to dry too with the Liquitex in it. I know Mina Valdez uses this, uh, the, the Liquitex in her mixture. Uh, I've followed a lot of Ceramax um, ingredients or recipes or formulas, and uh, she uses uh, Floetrol a couple of times. Well, now she's using Mix. Um, uh, while it's available. Um, there's two women I think that's making it and it's taking them some time uh, to get us all in supply. Uh, okay, so next compartment will be the dark blue. We'll go up to the line. So that in the event that the paint sprays, I've got the cardboard up Yesterday I had a big catastrophe and uh, the cardboard wouldn't, didn't even get any paint on it. Okay, so let's see if we can make this where you can watch what is happening as I turn the canvas. 
I'll hold my wrist like this. I think you'll be able to do it. We'll find out. So let's see if that's just too much like too much light. Hmm. If it works best this way now. Now the reason I believe this is a good idea is it keeps the weight of the paint continuously moving instead of making it go all at once in a heavy pattern. It's so enough. like this right now is more of the typical stretching where the heavy paint needs to now be brought back to the center oh I like that Yes, it is definitely having cells develop though, even though it's primarily Liquitex. Um, I'm not quite sure if I wanted the cells to be developed, I probably wouldn't get so much. Maybe it's from all the air, I don't know. Um, I thought maybe it was from putting the metallic on the board before but that's not the case either so um i think i'm going to stop stretching it um i think i i like the um the feathering um, i'm losing the the dark blue here let me just pull it back and see if i can get more dark blue So what I try to do is I try to keep the center pretty much like in the same spot and make the corners go down, rotating the corners down. Okay. So I lost some of the dark blue and I stretched some of the dark blue.
I really like this right here of the edge. It's beautiful. So here we have very interesting. It's a homemade paint divider swirled. Um, even though it has liquid Liquitex as the paint medium, we still have cells. It's very interesting. And some curves because of mucca. Otherwise, the lines are pretty nice. Interesting cell right there. Fascinating me. It's just fascinating. Hmm. If anybody has any ideas, what is making the cells? Could it be that little bit of um, flow trawl? Get up as high as I can get to get the whole thing in it. All right. Thank you so much.